you think the records can be withheld for deliberative reasons? Can yeah. the records custodians say that um, the way that they made their decisions uh, to protect the free exchange of ideas should be withheld from the public? Does the governor's office do you agree with that? I think that I think that's too broad a question to to have a simple answer, and it's actually litigate in litigation right now. So. I don't have a direct answer to that question as we stand here. I, you know, there's, there are some aspects that, that I, do think, I do think the law could address, permitting people within an agency to, uh, to exchange ideas before that becomes the final public document. But ultimately, that's going to be up to the legislature to decide how to craft that. And right now, there is, as I said, litigation in place to determine what, what the boundaries of that are right now. How come you're not representing the um, governor in that case? That's a matter of, of attorney-client discussions that we really can't, I can't discuss now. How do you, what do you want to see done with body cameras in terms of the law? What do you want well, the law to say about body cameras? Well, it, a, another question that's far too broad to, to answer right in this context, but, I, but I'd like to see some guidance for law enforcement agencies. Um, there, uh, as uh, Mr. Hall talked about, there, aren't, there is no guidance now relating to retention of the materials. Um, there's no guidance as to what, what must be recorded, what isn't recorded. There's no guidance, as, as Ms. Karofsky talked about, as to whether, uh, whether a person could, a, a citizen, whether they're a victim, a witness, a bystander, whether they have any right to object to to their private information now becoming public information. So um, there, we're, I think we have a long way to go before we determine where, where the lines are between what is, what is necessary monitoring of government activity and necessary protection of privacy rights of citizens. What kind of uh, guidance are you currently giving lawmakers about releasing personally identifying information such as email addresses, phone numbers, names, on the open records request that they're currently fulfilling. Again, that's a matter of attorney-client privilege. We, we, they, they seek well, you our advice. Be out, you should be giving out general guidance, though. We've been giving guidance in, 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 in response to specific questions, and uh, I, I can't so talk like about what addresses are okay. I can't talk about what guidance we give our clients. That's well, well. So, like email addresses for our constituents is okay if it's on an open records request. Is that okay? Yeah. We're not going to resolve that issue this morning. Well, I mean, like, what's the where's the current stand on that? We're we're not going to resolve that issue this morning. Again, those are discussions we have with our clients. Attorney General Schumel, when you talk about direction as it relates to the release of body camera video, are you uh, contemplating prohibition on releasing, uh, for example, portions of video that would show a bystander? No, I, I and and again. It's not really about what I'm contemplating. It's it's searching for all of the individuals with a stake in uh, in this issue to to have some input to see whether we can develop some standards that make sense. But there are a lot of unanswered questions, like whether that bystander has any privacy rights relative to that information. Last question. You said DOJ would take enforcement action in some cases. What did you mean by that? Well. I rec you know, as having been a DA for a long time, um, I rec often it was a difficult challenge, even in a large county like Waukesha, um, when I had to make determinations about prosecuting or uh, taking action action against a uh, a local official. That could be a difficult conflict. We we'll, we will be uh, more available to DAs to uh, to consider helping them out with those conflicts. They're also these also be very time consuming investigations. Bigger agency, bigger offices like Waukesha County, Milwaukee, Dane, uh, Brown, they have investigators to do that. Smaller counties, it's not as easy to do. So I do, we will make ourselves more available to help with those. Are you talking about litigation or just helping uh, smaller district attorneys in, in, in investigations of open records disputes? It could be investigations. It could be trying to mediate differences. And it could at times be prosecutions, yes. Thank you guys very much. We'll be, we'll be around all day. If you've got one office or anything, you know, I can, if I get my job back after. Okay, Speaker Voss asked, um, you said you should investigate the GAB after the Supreme Court's decision. Is that something you're contemplating? I, I don't have any comment on that today. <laughs> Does that mean you're considering it or you're not considering it? 
I don't have any comment on that today. Attorney General Schimmel, arrest records were brought up and the practice in Minnesota where there's somewhat of a laundry list according to the advocate. Uh, how do you feel about the openness of arrest records? Should it be carte blanche? I think what we're doing in Wisconsin now makes sense. That uh, in order to be able to monitor what police are doing, we've got to be able to see what they're doing. So when individuals are arrested, uh, when people are detained, that has to be that has to be public record. We got to get you back in there. I'm the I'm the timekeeper.